Green fodder is essential to feed livestock, but the reduced availability of land and lack of water, it has become difficult to produce the required quantity of green fodder throughout the year. Also, the lack of quality fodder hampers the growth, production and reproduction of livestock. Hydroponic fodder is produced by growing seeds without soil, and with very little water. Within 6-7 days, the seeds are sprouted, the seedlings will be up to 30 to 35 cm tall and provide highly nutritious fodder. In this video, we will show how to grow hydroponic fodder in easy steps. Hi friends. Welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. The Hydroponic Fodder Production Process Use only good qualities of seed for hydroponic fodder production. Never use broken or unhealthy seeds as these will not germinate and grow properly. You can use maize, pulses, wheat and horse gram seeds to make hydroponic fodder, but do not use pearl, millet and sorghum seeds. Because these sprouted leaves contain poison that can harm your livestock. Most farmers use maize seeds to produce hydroponic fodder. In cold climatic conditions, wheat and oat seeds are good, while in hot climatic conditions, maize seeds are suitable for hydroponic fodder production. Process The process begins by soaking the wheat in lime water solution. We have taken 50 kg of wheat in a tub. Then we filled the tub with water. Then we added 1 kg lime to it. Wash it thoroughly. We wash trays with soap solution. These trays are used to sow the wheat seeds. Then rinse wheat seeds in a salt solution. It helps minimize fungus production on the sprouted seed. Allow the seed to soak water for around 12 hours. Spread and sow the seeds on tray. Make 2 cm height seed bed. Allow excess water to go out. Then place the trays in racks. It is better to make racks in greenhouse. To grow good quality fodder, you need to be able to control the temperature and humidity. The fodder easily grows in semi-controlled environmental conditions with a temperature range of 15 to 32 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of 80 to 85 percent. Also, control light is for your need to grow fodder. Then irrigate entire farm by fogger irrigation system. It will provide really less water. And this entire system require very less water. Do not let seeds to dry and do not over water to the system. If you give more water, it may lead to seed fermentation or wheat rot disease. We kept timer to control the irrigation system. It helps us to maintain limited moisture in seeds. You can water at specific interval of time. In the rainy season it requires very less water and in summer season it requires more water to grow. Every day give light water to sprouted seeds. To provide water, you can use watering cans or a sprinkler system. In hot weather conditions, give water after every 2 hours, and in cold weather conditions, after 4 hours, it helps maintain moisture. There is high risk in summer season. There is increase in temperature and decrease in humidity. Open the curtains in greenhouse to maintain the temperature and allow air to come inside. Please do not disturb the tray's sprouted seeds until they are harvesting, which influences the fodder's growth. Within 7 days from one tray containing 1 kg of maize seed, you can produce about 8 to 10 kg of fodder. When preparing hydroponic fodder to make the rack according to your fodder need, if you required every day 5 trays of fodder so for 7 days, a prepared shade accommodates 35 trays. Feeding of hydroponic green fodder. In 6 to 7 days, the fodder is ready to harvest, take out fodder slabs from the tray, and cut them into small pieces before feeding it to the livestock, so it is easier for the animals to eat the fodder properly. Avoid keeping the fodder for more than 9 days in the trays because, after 9 days, the nutrient value of fodder starts to decrease slowly, and fiber starts to develop. You can feed this fodder to cows, buffaloes, goats, sheep, rabbits, chicken, ducks and to other livestock too. Give this fodder to livestock along with other food and dry fodder from the total quantity of fodder. Give this fodder to the livestock with other food and other dry fodder. Farmer gives the combination of half a hydroponic fodder and half fodder or dry fodder. Hydroponic fodder is very soft and nutritious, and tasty, and the resulting animals enjoy it. Hope you like this system. Execute this system on your farm. 
This system may help a lot of farmers. Share this video with your all friends. We need your support to do this kind of work. Your likes and comments will motivate us to do more work. Please do like and comment your thoughts. It may boost the YouTube algorithm and it will help to reach more farmers. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.